My name is Kaylee Marks, and I'm one half of the band Baseline Drift and product manager for Gravitas Create. I grew up with a lot of Indian musical influences in my life. My parents raised me practicing a branch of Hinduism called Gaudiya Vaishnavism. Our main spiritual practice or meditation is called Kirtan, or congregational chanting and singing of God's names. Basically, a big music and dance prayer party. Growing up, my father had collected many Indian instruments, and we'd listen to albums like Ravi Shankar's Chants of India on the way to school, so I was attracted to those sounds for a long time. Although it wasn't until I started producing music in Ableton Live that I had the idea to go on a musical pilgrimage and record professional rag players in India myself. My journey lasted a month and I traveled in the northern part of the country. I spent time with spiritual teachers, dancing in massive parades, collecting sacred sounds at holy pilgrimage sites. I made my way back to Calcutta, where I spent three days with Ranjit Prasad in his studio recording world-class raga musicians. I knew that one of my goals while being in India was to get the sample pack. It had been a dream to go uh, travel around finding crazy different musicians and recording the sounds. And I didn't know how that would be pulled off with all these other things I was trying to do. You know, I was getting rates, I was calling different studios and asking my friends who had been recording there before, where do you go, who should we see, and you know, I, I narrowed it down to three different engineers. And I only ended up making it to one, but he was really great to work with. We recorded several percussion instruments, tabla, dolak, kanjira, and the interesting duff drum. So much to say about this place. It is an experience unlike any other. I kind of think of it almost like Disneyland for the soul. It's like there's so many different uh, sacred temples and places to go that are full of people worshiping, praying, and, and it's just like ripe with this devotional mood. So many beautiful songs being sung kirtan chanting of God's names and goddesses names and that just echoing through these ancient halls and temples is just mind-blowing it's so beautiful there we recorded a wonderful female vocalist Kinkani doing both improvisational ambient vocals as well as mantras and Hindi lyrics So what is rag anyway? One, two, three, four. This is all bandis. So in 16 beat. 16 beat. Rag. Rag Kafi. Rag So I like how Anushka Shankar, Ravi Shankar's daughter, explains it, which is it's a melody form based on a scale or several scales. And for me, they're they're like personalities that you are exploring, and it's based around this idea of a, a single drone note, and that is called sa. And it's the, it's the base, it's the root, it's the tonic. 
And then from there, the instrumentation, while that drone is playing, the instrumentation then starts to sort of diverge from that root note and explore the other intervals in the, in the rag. And that is what starts to give it its character. And there's rules for what notes to play when you go up the scale, and there's rules when you go down the scale. And those rules are uh, indicative of the, the rag. For stringed instruments, we recorded sitar, sarangi, and sarod. And for wind instruments, we recorded the Bansuri flute in a variety of keys and styles. The other reason why I went to India, and I have been conflicted about whether or not to share this, but it does give context to why I went there, which is that I wanted to bring my father's ashes to the two sacred rivers, Ganges and the Yamuna. I wanted to, with my older brother, be able to lay to rest those ashes. It was great to go and kind of have a, have a, I guess like a chapter ending ceremony there. It was a mind-blowing experience to go on this journey and collect these sounds, and I'm so grateful to share them all with you, and I really hope that you all get a lot out of them. Enjoy the exploration of Ra, these sounds of India.